In the vast annals of history, there are countless stories, but there is one ruler who stands out from the rest, and that is Hatshepsut. Her reign was marked by ambition, innovation, and courageous determination. During her reign, she left an indelible mark on the world. Today, we revive her story, from the grandeur of her architectural feats to the profound impact she had on her people. Let us delve into the captivating world of this extraordinary leader, honor her memory, and marvel at her accomplishments. Satisfy your curiosity and discover the extraordinary reign of Hatshepsut, where an amazing journey awaits you. Hatshepsut was an ancient Egyptian ruling queen, the fifth in the line of kings of the 18th dynasty, Hatshepsut was born in 1508 BC, the eldest daughter of King Thutmose I, and Queen Amose King Amosi I is considered the owner of the great victory in liberating Egypt from the Hyksos. He is the great grandfather of Hatshepsut and the founder of the 18th Pharaonic dynasty to which she belongs. Hatshepsut was the legitimate heir to the throne of the country as there was no legitimate male heir. But she had a half-brother from her father, Thutmose II, from a secondary wife called Mut Neferet. Hatshepsut received education in the sciences of morals and correct behavior, in addition to reading and writing, arithmetic, philosophy, religious rituals, grammar, and composition. Hatshepsut married her half-brother, Thutmose II, according to the custom of the pharaohs, who had no choice but to marry Hatshepsut, and she had a son and two daughters. As for the son, he died in infancy, and his name did not remain on any traces. As for the two daughters, their names are Neferu Ra, and Meritari Hatshepsut, her husband Thutmose II, gave birth to a son, Thutmose III, from one of the concubines of the royal court, who was called Isa the Road, was not paved for Hatshepsut and strewn with roses to reach power. She faced, with all determination and stubbornness, a society and a male religious authority that refused to see the ruler except in the form of a man. Hatshepsut began a difficult time in her life when she was 20 years old, upon the death of her father, Thutmose I. She was a partner with her father in power and the legitimate heir to the throne. Therefore, it was reasonable that she was the pharaoh who would succeed Thutmose I on the throne. However, the traditions of the court and the intrigues of the priests began to interfere in matters because the idea of a woman ruling and placing all powers in her hands was something they did not like. For this reason, it was inevitable that her half-brother, Thutmose II, a sick person with little experience in managing the country's affairs, should participate with her in power and be a partner with her in the kingship as pharaoh of the country, while she would become a royal wife, and nothing more than that. There was no benefit to be expected from the protest as all circumstances were against her and they began to prepare for her marriage to Thutmose II. And thus Thutmose II obtained the legitimacy of rule and we know little about his short reign. Thutmose II was a weak person and may have been sick at the same time. In fact, Hatshepsut was the one who ran the affairs of the state and ruled the country in his name from behind a curtain. She was the one who commanded and forbade. After a short time, it became clear that he was on the path to death, and the courtiers and senior officials took, they wonder what will happen when he dies. There was no other prince who could succeed him on the throne, as if she would finally rule the country on her own. However, her husband, Thutmose II, wanted to give his son, Thutmose III, the right to assume the throne after him, and there was a person plotting conspiracies with the Temple of Amun in Karnak, arousing general feeling among the priests and people against the idea of a woman ruling over them. And this person was he, Thutmose III himself, lived in the temple as one of its priests. Thutmose II died in 1501 BC, and his son, Thutmose III, assumed power. On the third day of May, 1501 BC, Thutmose left his work as one of the junior priests in the temple of Amun to enter the royal palace. Hatshepsut was 34 years old at that time, and from the first day, competition and bitterness prevailed between them until Hatshepsut was able to gather supporters around her and build an empire, a party supporting it, and this party only took a short time until its influence increased and became so powerful that the pharaoh, who did not have sufficient experience, became completely unable to rule the country and was forced to vacate the place for Hatshepsut, 
Finally, in 1478 BC, Hatshepsut was declared king of Upper Egypt and the Delta, and she ruled Egypt and its overseas possessions alone as a pharaoh. This moment was the moment of victory for her. Continued in Part 2 What is the secret in her life?